Hey guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how to create a nice responsive uh, navbar using only HTML, CSS and a little bit of jQuery. So this is how the navbar looks on a large screen, but if we make it uh, smaller, at some point, it goes into responsive mode. We made this uh, nice little um, uh, menu toggler, and if we click it, the nav items come uh, from the right, in a nice animation. So this is what we're going to be building. If you're excited about this, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. And I'm also going to provide a link to the image in the description. So go ahead and grab that so you can code along with me. Now, before we get started, if you are new here, on this channel I post new videos every single day and they are meant to make you a better developer so that you can earn more money and live a better life. If that is something you're interested in, go ahead and hit that sub uh, and hit that the sorry and hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification icon so that you won't miss any of my videos. Uh, with that out of the way, let's go straight to the coding. So I have an empty folder on my desktop and I opened it in my text editor, which in my case I'm using brackets. I'm gonna create the index.html file, the style.css, and the main.js file. I'm also going to create an IMG folder for the image. And I'm going to take the image, make sure you grab that from the link in the description, and put it in the IMG folder. Okay. Now go to the index.html, give it a basic markup, change the title to responsive navbar or whatever, it doesn't matter. And we need another meta tag and give it a name of viewport and the uh, content equals width equals device width comma initial scale equals 1.0 this will help with the responsiveness let's also link our style.css file uh, let's put our uh, uh, main.js file so script src equals main.js and uh, we're gonna also we're gonna need to go to font awesome for the to get the menu icon uh, start using free and then grab this link paste it that's right and uh, now we can start with the uh, basic markup so let's put a header tag and inside here we're going to put a div for the class of logo and say logo and below it uh, use the nav tag put a ul and li a now copy this uh, five more times and the first one is home about uh, services uh, work samples testimonials and the contact. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Um, first, we need so we need to open this in the browser. Okay, it doesn't look good, obviously. We haven't styled it yet. Uh, let's put the... Uh, let's go ahead to Font Awesome and type uh, Menu. And we're gonna choose the three bars here. Wait for it to load up. And uh, I copied this. Go ahead, go back to the index.html file, and go below the nav, but still inside the header, and put a div with a class of navbar toggle. And inside this, paste that icon. Let's see. Okay, we have it right here. All right, that's it for the markup. Let's go to the style.css. So inside here, first let's give it some general styling. Uh, remove the margin and the padding. And also uh, give it the box sizing property a value of border box. Now for the body, the font family, uh, choose uh, Tahoma Sans Serif. Now let's put the image, background, URL, IMG, and select the image. Now background, attachment, fixed, background, uh, size cover background repeat no repeat and background position center and set the overflow to hidden 
okay um, now let's select the header first let's make some space here okay header and then give it a position of uh, absolute now top 0 left 0 padding 0 uh, uh, top and bottom and 7 rem uh, left and right rem is a relative measure in it and in uh, this case 1 rem it's equal to the HTML uh, font size which by default is uh, 16 pixels so uh, 7 rem is uh, 16 pixels times 7 which is uh, 112 pixels I believe let's see times that that's right okay uh, moving on, uh, let's give it a background of uh, 333 and a width of 100%. Okay, now let's move on. Let's style the logo. So header.logo and uh, give it a color of uh, 3AB1C1. Okay, that's the color. A height of 3RAM. Uh, um, a line height of 3 rem, a font size 1.5 rem, okay, uh, float it to the left, and the uh, margin top 0 0.5 rem. Alright, now next is the list, so we're gonna, so, uh, next is the navigation, so header, nav, float this to the right, Okay, now uh, header nav ul and give it a display of uh, flex. Okay, now they're horizontal. Now let's also remove the, let's give it a list style of none. And now it removed the bullet points. And header uh, nav ul li a. Let's select the links, give them a height of uh, 3 rem, a line height of 3 rem, a padding 0 top and bottom and 1.4 rem left and right, uh, color FFF, I hope you're coding along, this is the best way to learn. Uh, text decoration, set it to none to remove the underline, uh, give it a display of block. A border radius of 0 0.5 rem to make the corners when we hover a little rounded and the margin 0 0.5 rem on top and bottom and 0 0.25 rem on left and right okay now we're gonna deal with the cover uh, so header nav ul li a uh, column hover and we're gonna give it a color of white and the background of uh, uh, our primary color 3a b1 c1 okay and now let's move on uh, actually I'm gonna make this uh, give this you see like here this home has a is a background is the primary color by default so I'm gonna give go to the index.html and give this uh, home element a class of active and now I'm gonna go back to style.css put a comma here and header nav ul li a dot active that should solve it as you can see now it works fine and uh, let's style the the menu toggler it's it's right here uh, above the logo i don't know if you can see it but it's here so let's select the navbar toggle okay now give it a color of white now you can see it it's right here um float it to the right give it a line height of uh, let's say 3 rem a font size of uh, 1.5 rem a cursor change it to pointer and uh, let's see 
So uh, for now we're gonna set it display none to make it disappear for now. Okay, that's about it. As you can see, it doesn't look good when you make it smaller right now, but we're gonna work on that. Uh, we'll move on to the responsiveness now. So at the media query at media uh, max width, give it a 999 pixels. So at, for the header, give it a padding of zero top and bottom and 1.5 RAM left to right. The logo, header that logo, uh, give it a, actually, I'm gonna give it a margin top of zero. Uh, let's take a look for a moment. Okay, we still have a lot of stuff to do. Well, not a lot, but uh, uh, navbar toggle, give it a display of uh, block. Now, header nav position absolute top 50 pixels right minus 100% uh, the width set it 100% uh, and the height we're gonna calculate 100 uh, viewport heights minus uh, the top 50 pixels give it a background of uh, 333 and the transition uh, the right property 0 0.5 seconds and we're gonna deal with that now so header nav dot active the right property we're gonna set it to zero so when you click on the toggler it will move back uh, the menu will appear okay now for the ul so header nav ul display block and the text align, let's set it to center. And the last thing we have to do, well, we still have our jQuery to do, but uh, that's after. A nav UL LIA, give it a border bottom of one pixel dotted RGBA uh, 58, 177, 193, and 0.5 opacity. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, it doesn't work because we need to put our JavaScript. So let's first go to the jQuery CDN. Uh, click on the first link. And select the minified version. Copy this link, the script I mean. And paste it uh, above the main.js since we're going to use jQuery in our main file. Now let's test this, alert, hey, and it looks like it works fine. Now we have a little bit of jQuery to do. So when the document loads, so document.ready function, uh, we're going to select the menu icon, so navbar toggle dot click. When you click on it, we're going to call this function. Uh, and select the navbar, so the nav element, and give it a toggle class of uh, active. What the toggle class means is uh, it will take a look at the nav element, and if it doesn't have the active class, it will give it to it, and if it does have it, it will remove it. Okay, that should be it. Let's take a look. So, if we click on this, as you can see, it works fine. It's a little nice transition, a little smooth. And uh, I think it's pretty cool. I really hope you like it. And if you did, give that video a thumbs up. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you, sh what you think of it. Um, share this video. And uh, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icons so that you won't miss any of my videos. I post new videos every single day. Uh, that's it for now. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.